Hey what's going on guys Darius here and welcome to a new video. In this video I will be showing you how to work with Chaotica's new animation feature. They added this in the latest version and uh, I managed to get my hands on a copy. So today I'm going to be showing you uh, just how to work around with it. So just start Chaotica normally and uh, then you get your normal parameter browser and I gotta say the parameter browser in Chaotica is pretty pretty badass. So far from all the fractal applications that I tried, Chaotica's parameter browser this is definitely a thing of its own. Uh, it generates some awesome things and it sometimes it just feels like cheating because uh, it just makes some awesome things without me even trying. I could just stay here for hours and just browse random parameters and just save all the amazing worlds that it creates. So let's hop into the tutorial. Uh, just search for random worlds, whatever you like, and uh, when you find something that you like, uh, then just click on it and import it. So after searching for a bit, I found a few parameters that are interesting. For example, this, the third one here. Uh, I really like it for the colors and uh, because it's all scattered and it looks like a galaxy, like uh, stars, space, you know. And I like this with the uh, swirly lines and it's pretty interesting. It would be fun to animate uh, both of them actually. I could just stay here hours browsing, you know, uh, but let's see uh, which one we can use. I really like this one, but for animation, let's use this one because it, it has those swirly lines and it just would be fun, you know, to, to bring them to life. So the first thing that you're going to have to do after importing your image is to change the anti-aliasing to 1. There we go. Uh, this will make your image render much, much faster. And now go to Window and Animation Editor. And this is where the magic happens. This is the new thing that they added. I have to mention that the keyframes are not visible at this uh, stage of the application, but they're still working on it and they're improving it every day. So uh, it will be added very, very soon. So the first thing that we need to do here is choose our length. Uh, so how long will our animation be? I'm going to go for 5 seconds. Uh, you can change the FPS, the frames per second. You can change it to 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever you want. You can also change the exposure time, which affects the motion blur and the exposure shape. Um, so let's see what we can do with our animation editor. I'm going to go to Window and then World Editor. Uh, I'm going to make my windows a bit smaller so I have place, you know, so I have a place to put my animation editor. And this is like, this seems like a good setup. So let's move a bit on the timeline, just a bit further. And let's go into our world editor and just move some things around. Let me try this one. Let's see. Oh, this looks nice. As you can see, the motion blur, it's already applying and it's making things look smoother. And uh, let me try this one. Oh, that's going to give it some life. There we go. Now I'm going to move to the end. And let's do some other changes. This is a drastic change. This is just to give you an example of the animation. So now that our animation is finished, uh, you can definitely see the motion blur going on. I'm going to go to the beginning. This is what we have. And check this out if I move slowly along the timeline. Just look at it take shape. Look at it come alive. You can definitely see the motion blur going on there. This is fantastic. This is why I love Chaotica because it's it just makes these amazing things that you couldn't think of. I'm pretty satisfied with it. If you look here on the left, you can definitely see that the lines are being blurred by the motion blur. So just imagine the possibilities that you can just take a random world, uh, just click on it, and then just animate it. It's just so easy. So Chaotica is an amazing fractal application, and if you want to get your hands on it, you can get the studio version next month, 33% off uh, on their website. And uh, there are a few limitations to the various versions, for example, the free version only allows for 30 seconds animation. Uh, the HD version only allows for 3 minutes of animation. And the studio version allows for unlimited animation. So basically the studio version is unlimited everything. So uh, that should be the way to go. And the Chaotica team is working really, really hard to bring out the absolute best fractal art application out there. 
And from what I've seen and tested so far, trust me, it's incredible and definitely on the right path. Definitely. Do check out Chaotica at chaoticafractals.com. Let me show you some of the examples that people there made. Uh, look at this. This is, this is just fantastic. Uh, imagine this animated. Imagine just taking life in Chaotica. Uh, this could be a microorganism moving around and this spiral just rotating. That would be fantastic. Uh, look at this. This is just amazing, the stuff that you can make. So yeah, go get yourself Chaotica and have some fun. Hope you enjoyed the video.